Ever wondered why some people seem to have an endless supply of motivation while others struggle to get out of bed in the morning? That question has puzzled many of us. It's about motivation, that elusive spark that fuels our ambitions, drives our actions and shapes our lives. It's the force that keeps us going when the going gets tough. But what if I told you that there's a secret to tapping into this wellspring of energy? A certain rule known as the locus rule could hold the answer. This rule, a fascinating concept in the realm of psychology, may be the key to understanding why motivation comes so naturally to some, but proves elusive to others. It's a concept that could revolutionize the way you approach your goals, your dreams, your very life. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey of discovery. Getting to the bottom of this could be the key to unlocking your own unlimited supply of motivation. Motivation isn't just about willpower, it's a complex psychological process. To fully grasp the concept of motivation, we must delve into the realm of psychology. It's here we find the two foundational pillars of motivation, intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation comes from within. It's the internal drive that propels us to do something because we find it personally rewarding. This could be anything from reading a book purely for enjoyment, to running a marathon for the sheer thrill of it. It's that voice inside you that says, I want to do this because it makes me feel good. On the other hand, extrinsic motivation emerges from outside influences. It's the desire to engage in an activity to earn a reward or avoid punishment. Think of it as the carrot and stick approach. You may study hard to get good grades, work overtime to secure a promotion, or exercise to avoid health problems. This motivation isn't necessarily born from personal joy or satisfaction, but rather from a desire for external rewards or avoidance of negative outcomes. Understanding the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation is key to managing our motivation levels. If we rely solely on extrinsic motivation, we might find ourselves feeling empty or unsatisfied even when we achieve our goals. However, if we tap into our intrinsic motivation, we can find joy and satisfaction in the process itself, making our journey towards our goals more fulfilling. But it's not always black and white. Sometimes these two types of motivation can intertwine, influencing one another. For instance, you might start a new hobby because of extrinsic rewards like praise from others, but over time you may find that you genuinely enjoy the activity, thus sparking intrinsic motivation. By understanding these facets of motivation, we can better manage our motivation levels, ensuring we're not just chasing after external rewards, but also finding personal fulfillment in our pursuits. But that's just scratching the surface. To truly harness your motivation, it's crucial to understand the locus rule. The locus rule is a psychological principle that plays a significant role in our motivation. Now let's dive deeper into this intriguing concept. The locus rule is all about where we believe control over our lives resides. Coined in the mid 20th century by psychologist Julian Rotter, the term locus of control refers to the extent to which individuals believe they can control events affecting them. Essentially, it's about whether you believe your destiny is governed by your own actions or by external forces. This brings us to the two forms of locus of control, internal and external. Individuals with an internal locus of control are convinced that their actions directly influence the outcomes of their lives. They believe they are the masters of their fate, the captains of their souls. They see success as a result of hard work and failure, as a product of not trying hard enough. On the other hand, those with an external locus of control believe that external factors, such as luck, fate, or other people, are primarily responsible for the events in their lives. They often feel like they're at the mercy of the universe, subjected to its whims and caprices. But why does this matter? How does this relate to motivation? Well, it's simple. Individuals with an internal locus of control are generally more motivated because they believe their efforts can lead to success. They're more likely to set challenging goals, work diligently towards them, and persist in the face of adversity. They're the go-getters, the self-starters, the ones who make things happen. Contrarily, those with an external locus of control may struggle with motivation. They may shy away from setting ambitious goals because they believe the outcome is out of their hands. They may give up more easily when faced with obstacles because they feel they're fighting against an unbeatable system. However, it's important to note that neither form of locus of control is inherently good or bad. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. 
an external locus can foster resilience in the face of uncontrollable circumstances, while an internal locus can sometimes lead to self-blame and stress. The key is to find a balance, to understand that while you have control over your actions and responses, there are external factors that you simply cannot control. It's about taking responsibility for your life, but also recognizing that it's okay to accept the things you can't change. And that's where the power of the locus rule lies. It allows you to shift your perspective to understand that you are not merely a passive recipient of life's events. By developing an internal locus of control, you can channel your energy into what you can influence, thus boosting your motivation. Mastering the locus rule can be a game changer for your motivation levels. It's about embracing the belief that you are in control of your life, that your actions matter, it's about stepping into your power and shaping your destiny. It's about transforming your life from the inside out. Scene script. Knowing the theory is great, but how do we apply the locus rule in our everyday lives? Let's dive into the practical side of things. The locus rule isn't just some abstract concept to be admired from afar. It's a living, breathing strategy that can be woven into the very fabric of our daily existence. Firstly, it's important to understand that the locus of control isn't a switch that can be flipped on and off at will. It's more of a dial that can be gradually adjusted. The key is to start small. Let's say you're trying to get in shape. Instead of blaming external factors for your lack of fitness, like your busy schedule or the tempting fast food joint on your way home, shift your locus of control inward. Accept that only you have the power to decide what you eat and how often you exercise. It's not about the circumstances, it's about the choices you make within those circumstances. Now let's consider a professional scenario. You're eyeing that promotion at work, but it seems like your boss just doesn't recognize your efforts. An external locus of control would have you believe that your boss is biased or that the system is rigged against you. But what if you turn the dial inward? What if you started focusing on refining your skills, improving your work and making yourself so good that they can't ignore you? That's the power of the locus rule in action. Of course, shifting the locus of control isn't always easy. It requires a certain level of self-awareness and introspection. It means taking responsibility for your actions and their consequences, but it also means growing, evolving, and becoming the best version of yourself. Moreover, it's crucial to strike a balance. The locus rule isn't about blaming yourself for everything that goes wrong. It's about understanding that while you can't control everything that happens to you, you can control how you respond to it. It's about finding that sweet spot between taking charge of your life and accepting that there are some things beyond your control. And remember, it's a journey, not a destination. There will be days when you slip into old habits, days when the world seems to conspire against you, but that's okay. It's all part of the process. The important thing is to keep moving forward, to keep adjusting that dial, to keep shifting your locus of control inward. The benefits of applying the locus rule are manifold. It boosts self-confidence, increases resilience, and fosters a sense of empowerment. It's not just about achieving goals, it's about realizing that you have the power to shape your own destiny. By actively managing our locus of control, we can take charge of our motivation. It's not just about surviving the storm, it's about learning to dance in the rain. So, are you ready to take the reins and steer your life in the direction you want? The choice, as always, is yours. The path to mastering your motivation is not without its challenges. Imagine you're on a journey. Your destination is the peak of a mountain, and that mountain represents your motivation. The trail is steep, the weather unpredictable, and the terrain rugged. These are the challenges you might face when trying to apply the locus rule the map that guides you to the peak. The first challenge is the difficulty of shifting your mindset. Many of us are conditioned to believe that our motivation is influenced heavily by external factors. We think, if only my boss was more supportive, or if I had more time, then I would be more motivated. But the locus rule requires us to turn inward and accept that we are the primary drivers of our motivation. This shift can be daunting, but remember, every journey begins with a single step. Start by acknowledging that you have more control over your motivation than you might have previously thought. The second hurdle is the fear of failure. As humans, we are naturally inclined to avoid discomfort and failure. We fear the sting of rejection, 
the embarrassment of mistakes, and the disappointment of missed goals. But remember, failure is not a pitfall, but a stepping stone on the path to success. Embrace it as a learning opportunity. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can I improve? By reframing failure as an opportunity for growth, you can tap into its motivational potential. The third challenge is maintaining consistent motivation. It's easy to feel motivated when you're excited about a new project or goal, but maintaining that enthusiasm over time can be tricky. This is where the locus rule shines. It's not about a short-term spike in motivation, but cultivating a sustainable, long-term commitment. Practice makes perfect. The more you apply the locus rule, the easier it becomes to maintain your motivation. Finally, the last challenge is dealing with setbacks. Life is unpredictable, and sometimes, despite our best efforts, things don't go according to plan. When this happens, it's easy to feel discouraged and let our motivation wane. But remember, setbacks are not roadblocks. They're just detours on your path to the peak. Instead of viewing them as obstacles, view them as challenges to be overcome. Use the locus rule to refocus your motivation and find new ways to reach your goals. In the face of these challenges, it's important to remember that you are not alone. Everyone faces obstacles on their motivational journey, but with patience, persistence, and a little bit of courage, you can navigate these hurdles and reach the peak. With patience and practice, you can overcome these hurdles and harness the power of the locus rule. In a world that demands constant productivity, mastering your motivation is more important than ever. Imagine the towering skyscrapers, the bustling cities, the technological marvels we marvel at each day, each one a testament to human motivation. Every achievement, every breakthrough, every stride forward is fueled by that indomitable human spirit, that relentless drive to do more, be more. It's this motivation that shapes our personal lives, that forms the backbone of our societies. When you understand your motivation, when you comprehend the essence of the locus rule, you start seeing changes, subtle at first, it's like a ripple effect. You're more driven, more focused. You're not just surviving, you're thriving. You're setting goals, achieving them, setting more. And it's not just about the big things. It's about the small victories, the everyday tasks, the routine chores. You're not just doing them, you're owning them. But the impact of motivation isn't confined to our personal sphere. It reverberates through the corridors of our society, shaping it, molding it. Motivated individuals are the bedrock of a progressive society. They are the innovators, the thinkers, the doers. They are the ones who refuse to accept the status quo, who strive for better, who lead the charge towards progress. Understanding and applying the locus rule, realizing that the power to motivate yourself lies within you, has far-reaching implications. It's not just about personal growth, it's about societal growth. It's about pushing boundaries, breaking barriers, climbing mountains. It's about dreaming of a better world and then having the motivation to make it a reality. In a world that's evolving at breakneck speed, in a world that's constantly demanding more, understanding your motivation, understanding the locus rule is a game changer. It's not just a tool for personal success, it's a catalyst for societal progress. The power to motivate yourself is within you. Understand it, harness it, and watch how it transforms your life. So, are you ready to take control of your motivation? We've journeyed through the fascinating landscape of motivation, unpacking its essence, and diving deep into the locus rule. We've seen how this rule, by helping us understand where our motivation comes from, can radically transform our lives. We've looked at how to apply the locus rule, recognizing that the power to motivate ourselves rests within us. We've explored the challenges that might arise and ways to overcome them, assuring that no obstacle is too great to surmount. We've reflected on the profound impact of motivation in today's world, acknowledging its role in personal growth and global progress. The locus rule isn't just a tool for self-improvement, it's a catalyst for change on a grand scale. It all begins with a single step, a decision to take control of your motivation. Remember, the key to endless motivation lies within you. It's time to unlock it. Enjoyed the video? Are you eager to learn more about mastering your motivation? If so, consider subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll gain access to regular updates and exclusive content that dives deeper into the world of self-improvement and personal growth. Imagine being part of a community of learners, all on the same journey to unlock their endless motivation. 
So, don't wait another minute. Hit that subscribe button and join us on this exciting path of self-discovery and growth. Remember, the key to your motivation is just a click away.